Tensions run high in Syria. The UK, the United Kingdom, Britain has backed out tonight of any action, and our president says he's not decided about a military strike. But a local Syrian family says there are some things you need to know before the missiles fly. Jackie Sprague spoke with them tonight. She's live with their story only on two. Well, the family tells me it's heartbroken to see the turmoil that's going on in Syria. It may seem like it's worlds away, but they say it's going to hit you here at home, too. It is very depressing. It is very sad. Dr. Ibrahim Ahmad and his wife Beth Salama have lived in America for more than 15 years. But the family still goes back to Syria frequently to visit family and friends. They can't believe the terror they're seeing unfold on their TV screens. The Syrian people also, they are like those innocent people who are killed. They need somebody to talk more about them. And, and you know, it, it hurts us to feel like the United States may interfere in a way that would hurt the people there and hurt us here too. As President Obama considers a missile strike on their homeland, the family hopes that doesn't happen. Peace and stability does not come from war. And so I don't think that the U.S. should get involved with serious issues because I'm sure that's not going to like help in any sort of way. And the family doesn't believe the real story is being told. They say it's not the Syrian president who executed this alleged chemical attack, but outside extremists. There are things you don't know in, unless you, you are in the area. So we didn't feel the media is, is showing the whole story about Syria. And they say it's important to know that this conflict also affects you and your family here in America. It's going to affect us at jobs. It's going to affect us how we promote American products. It's going to affect the gas pump. In, in my <laughs> humble you know, uh, theory, this is the time where the United States should support this regime to weed out all those terrorists. Now, while this family doesn't believe the Syrian president is to blame for the chemical attacks, President Obama says he has concluded the Syrian government is responsible based on intelligence the U.S. has gathered. Even so, experts are warning a missile attack could have unintended consequences. Reporting live, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.